It's early June and already Phoenix has hit 110 degrees. If you think it's not getting much cooler at night in the city, you're right. That's due in part to the urban heat island effect. Reporter Amanda Mason explains the science and what communities are doing to reduce the heat this summer. The urban heat island effect happens in cities around the world, where the metropolitan areas are hotter than the surrounding rural areas. It's the result of the built up area of cities that's constituted by buildings, by roads and other hard surfaces. This absorbs heat during the day when there's sunlight and at night it releases that heat as radiant heat. The temperatures overnight have raised upwards of nine degrees over the last 20 years. So we are just now, if, it's, if it goes up that high at nighttime, it doesn't cool as we're used to in the mornings when we get up to start the day. In an effort to reduce heat, the city of Phoenix planted 3,000 trees. When people are walking to our light rail, people are enjoying our downtown festivities, the trees will represent some respite for them along the way, cooling the environment, allowing them to have a good time, even if it's 110 degrees outside. Strategies to reduce heat are unique to each area. With the help of the Sustainable Cities Network, cities share the results with each other to find the best approach. One of the things being considered is how asphalt materials impact heat absorption. Even the color of the streets could make a difference. It hasn't reached the materials lab as yet in terms of doing any testing. There's a lot of factors going to a lot of study has to take place uh, because whatever we do in the city costs money and we have to make sure that you know we're responsible. It's more than just a matter of painting a street white. I think there's issues of how long is it going to stay white here with with the heat and the, the traffic, it can it'll pretty quickly, I think, start to turn black. And then what do you do with it after that? In Phoenix, Amanda Mason, Cronkite News. Phoenix is planning on doubling the amount of trees in the city by the year 2030.